to fish with lollies, like using soft lollies as a soft plastic alternative. They look alright. I'm gonna go with these and some Sour Patch Kids. These are the lollies we're gonna be using. There's another one. There's one. Oh, good fish, good fish. I'm gonna try and catch a fish on the Sour Patch Kids. You're kidding. No chance. How bloody good is that? That is one way to finish off a challenge. Well, good morning and good day, everyone. Welcome back to another video. Now, it's come to my attention after reading the comments section that a lot of people want another challenge video. Everyone is obsessed with challenge videos. Challenge, challenge, challenge. So I thought I'd come back and do another one today. But as I was scrolling my comments section, a lot of people were asking me to fish with lollies, like using soft lollies as a soft plastic alternative. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And I'm really curious to see the outcome. So I'm going to be hopping out of this car, making my way over to Coles, scrolling the lolly section and seeing what we can find. Um, I did have a quick little search and a lot of people were using snake lollies in particular. And I want to be a little bit different. So we're going to try not to go with that route. We're just going to suss through all the lollies, candy, whatever you want to call them and uh, just pick out some ones that look like they would work pretty good as a lure. We're then going to be going to my pop's mate's house who, if you can remember, owns that yellow kayak and we're going to be doing a bit of brim fishing around structure. A lot of people have been using them for flatty but I really want to push my luck, push my limits without further ado. And for the people who have always commented when I go and like take my camera in anywhere and I pay for something, look what we've upgraded to. We've upgraded to an actual wallet, not a 12 year old's kid little um little Velcro wallet. We've actually got a proper leather wallet. So without further ado, let's hop out of this car and head to Coles. Right, so I'm actually not too sure how much filming I'll be able to do in there, just for people's privacy reasons. You know, I'm taking a little camera inside a shopping center. Looks a little bit suspicious, so won't be able to film a whole lot. But um, we'll try and make do. Oh. They look all right. Look at these little worm things. All right, we'll get them and I think we'll get maybe one or two others. And right next to them are these Haribo snakes. So we might grab them as well. They're not super flimsy though, we want something that's gonna give off some tail action. Give it a try. Alright, just so we have variety if nothing's working, I'm gonna go with these and some Sour Patch Kids. Not for eating purposes at all. Let's get out of here. Got our couple packs just for a bit of variety. So um yeah, be interesting to see what works best. Gotta make one more quick trip around to my favorite place in the world. No. Alright, cheers boys, thank you. Alright, well, we got all the goodies. Now it's time to head around and uh, get in this kayak. But it's actually just started to rain, you're kidding me. As soon as I hop in the car, a little droplets everywhere, but hopefully that clears up. And thank you, car, for locking on me for no reason. So we've made it out onto the water. I've got two setups with me. And we're going to be changing to, um, not changing, we're going to be putting on two sets of lollies. So here's a little bag of goodies right here. Got some Haribo sour spaghetti. Snakes. I wasn't actually going to get snakes, but I decided I would. Ballast sticks and some Sour Patch Kids. Also got some jig heads and some scent from the tackle store. Yeah, these are the lollies we're going to be using. Got a nice all sort right here. And yeah, I'm going to make up my mind which ones I'm going to tie on first. And then we'll start working along these snags and seeing if we can pick off any brim. It's gone really, really overcast on us. I mean, it's been overcast all morning while I've been filming, but 
when I woke up in the morning, um, it was really sunny. The sun was nice and bright, so a bit unfortunate that it's gone fully overcast, but hopefully that'll have the brim more feeding up on the surface around the snags. And because we have a high tide, they should be pushing up and we're able to get onto a few. So I'm going to quickly make up my mind which ones I want to tie on. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. We'll start off with this setup, actually. <laughs> Start off with the old brawler. What we've got to do is decide what we want to chuck on there. I think I might start with these, the sour spaghettis. We've only got a couple of flavors to work with, or colors, green, orange, and yellow. Mm. Yeah, the orange ones are quite good, actually. <laughs> might start with one of them. See if the fish find it the same. Perfect size as well. That would be around that 2.5 inch, which is just like the lures I'd be working around here anyway. Get that rigged up. <laughs> this looks so weird. I think it might work. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm gonna have to put a bit of strength to get it on the hook far out. I'm just gonna rub it in the water a bit to loosen it up. Just tried rigging it and it's like so impossible. Super bloody stiff. Oh, it's going to be hard regardless. That sounds weird. Right, so we ended up rigging up one of those ballast sticks. It'll change your plans and uh, that's what it looks like. Does it look appealing? Not really. Um, does it look like a lure? No, not really. Let's see, let's see what action we can give it. Oh yeah, that could, that could work. Doesn't look that good on the drop, but kind of looks like a little minnow having a little flick up. So after fishing for hours around the snags, trying every sort of lolly option I had, I came to the conclusion pretty quick that the brim were not going to be easy to fool into eating the sweets. I kept trying anyways, using every colour option and mixing up jig heads, but yeah, it just, it just wasn't going to work out, so I loaded the kayak back up, went to bed and woke up the next day with a new plan. And to make this day even better, it's just started to rain. I'm loving it. Well, back out here today, um, day two of trying to catch any sort of fish using lollies as lures. Yesterday, we we're obviously out in the kayak, and today, we're off the land. I actually picked up a new lot of um, lollies. I wasn't going to use lolly snakes, but the ones that I had before, they're just too, too stiff and wouldn't go on the hook very well, so I made a quick trip to IGA and picked up some Allen's Snakes Alive. Now, a lot of people have used these, so that's why I didn't really want to go down that route, but they're that little bit softer gelatin material, so it's a little bit easier to throw on the hook. And uh, it is an absolute cracker day. For some reason, the water has cleared right up after having heaps of rain. Super beautiful, and there's like little to no wind. Well, there's actually no wind at all behind me right now. A little bit out towards the middle of the lake, but. Right here is pristine conditions. I've had quite a number of people to tell me to go fishing off a jetty, so here we are today. This is where we're gonna be starting and um, working all around this bay. Fun fact, I think I've only ever fished off this spot once in my life, so. Plenty of awesome weed grounds around here. Don't know how well you'll be able to see me. I'm trying my best to not sit in duck poo because this thing is completely covered in it. Here's our three sweets that we're left with. Well I actually just got these. Snakes Alive, Allen's traditional, Sour Patch Kids and a couple ballast sticks left. So the other ones like those the crazy spaghetti looking ones and the other snakes I ended up giving to my brother because they just weren't going to work. So I reckon we'll crack into these and get started. Bit of ASMR. I'll go with the red one to start. I reckon that'll work the best. 
very, very long. We have to cut it in half, actually. I'll do that real quick. And it passes the taste test, so yeah, good to go. Now, I'm pretty sure I showed this combo yesterday, but I'll get a nice close-up on it because I did a little bit of a customization. Change the, the slip works. I'll put on a slip works handle, which looks really sick. So Now, I don't need to go over the combo because I'm pretty sure I went over it yesterday if, um, if my memory is half decent. But what we have is a 112 jig head, and uh, we're going to be rigging this snake on there. Okay, it's definitely not easy to rig, but... 10 times easier than the other ones. Wow. So much easier. That's unreal. That does not look the greatest. You reckon we rock with a big one? No, I cut it down a bit. That looks about right. Alright, we'll go with that. It's like a probably a 3.5 to 4 inch lure. I'd say 3.5. But I'm going to start by instead of, oh, there's a massive stingray just there. I'm going to start by instead of just casting out in the middle of whoop whoop, um, I'm going to work the weed edges. Really nice weed lining all the way along here with super rubbly rocks and sandy bottom. And that's usually where flattered will sit in ambush. Let's chuck that out. Also forgot to mention I changed up to a 10 pound uh, leader today. Get a nice long cast out there. And I've got no clue how you work a lolly. I think I'm just going to hop it like a plastic. It's not very buoyant though, so it's just going to sink straight to the bottom. Just hop, hop all the way back in. What's that? Oh, massive whiting. Does he want a lolly? Nah, I spooked it. This actually doesn't look too bad. There you go, we'll be able to see that in the water. Oh, it's actually got the slowest fall as well. I reckon that'll work. Go near the boat ramp. I'm going to put on another one because probably made that threaded it too far onto the jig head could have probably not put it on as much that's better that's how I wanted it the first time so you got a bit more tail instead of all up on the top give it a little bit more action obviously I said at the start that flatter will eat about anything but you've got to make it look somewhat real That's a fish. There we go. What is it? It's a micro. Little, little micro flatty. But that is the first fish on the lolly. So it is going to work. He's not a big guy. I don't go crazy getting any holdups or anything. Little tacker. Go bro. There he goes. And that's the colour that got it done. A little purple. That's how this one looks at the water. <laughs> Doesn't look very good, but flatties don't care. It's cool to see it's going to work. And uh, no scuffing on the leader. Just a little guy, so I didn't think he would do anything. And our lolly's in one piece. A little bit of, a little bit of a bite mark, but yeah, it's good to keep going. There's another one. He picked that up on the second hop as well. It's a little bit better. Still not a big one. Oh, come in here, mate. You beauty. Number two. Number two in one minute of the, the other one. 
Don't spike me, don't spike me. Here we go. These little ones are always so fired up. Look at his fins. Here we go. See ya. Yeah, there goes the back end of the lolly. Just fell off, so I'll have to retie on another one. And I might go with... I'll keep with the purple. I guess I'll go with the green, but keep with the, keep with the purple. Seems to be working. Very awkward to work with because my hands are wet. And once these get wet, they go super slimy. Is that going to be too big, you reckon? We'll try the little bit bigger one. Oh, that's better. Oh, I dropped him. Just sitting on it. There's no way this lolly is working this effectively right now. He winds it in. I think it's just taking the back of it or something. I don't know. All good. Fully intact. But man, it's just getting smashed. There's a couple of rocks, but I didn't think it was really a snaggy area. Must be a log out there or something. Oh well, it's gonna be first jig head of the day gone. And I didn't get leader. Awesome. Going to have to retire a whole new leader. <laughs> that was my last bit of 10 pound as well. Right, just retied with an 8 pound litre and uh, still on a 112 for jig head. Gonna leave this jetty for now and make our way along these weed edges. Gave it one last little flick and yeah, nothing else. So just start making our way along here and see what else we can get onto. We've got the whole day ahead of us. Just gonna be enjoying the sun and having a flick and trying to tick off some fish on candy, as the Americans would say. Some candy. And in all honesty, would it really be a Josh D video if I didn't get my trackies, socks and water shoes wet? We've upgraded from regular shoes to water shoes, so. Still on the trackies though. It's cold. I should be fishing here actually. I'll start just here. There's plenty of little edges. Let's go with greeny. Give the green machine a go. Ooh. See if Raymond wants to eat this. Here you go, Raymond. I was kidding, I was kidding, I was kidding, I was kidding. Oh no. <sighs> I didn't think he'd actually go over the top of it. I got it off. <laughs> Sorry, Raymond. Far out. That would have been a fun fight, though. It's all fun and games to actually get them into into the shore, and you got to try and untangle them when they got their big barb waving in the air. There's one. Oh, good fish, good fish. 
on an eight pound, so I'll back it a little bit. Tell me this is recording. Yep. Didn't think I pressed it. Good flatty on the lolly. Oh, yeah, it's an alright one. Oh, yeah. That's in the 50s. Oh, and he swallowed it completely. Oh, no. All the way down the hatch. Don't snip, don't snip, don't snip. And that spooked it. It's a good fish. That's for sure. Now he's still fighting. There we go. Let me flip bail. There we go. Oh, that's a much better fish, that one. That'll be in the 50s. Give it a little measure. Why not? Oh, almost got me the spikes. There we go from the very front. I oh, know, I was right. It's gone 52. Very nice flatty. Put up a nice fight. How is that for an absolutely beautiful, dusky flathead taken on the snakes alive? That is so cool. I think I was using the green color, little green machine. Chucked out there, twitch, twitch, and he just grabbed it. That is a very nice fish, very healthy, with some super cool colors. Let's get you back in the water, girl. Oh boy, at that size, you can be any gender. Let's go, dusky dog. Keen already. How's the camouflage on them, though? I do know one thing for sure. It is getting very, very scorching, so... Jump is coming off. That line was so far down his mouth. Yeah, it's frayed up to there. Wow, this me scissors it. There we go. Oh, Maggie gang. It's good boys. They probably want a snake. Should I give him a snake? Oh, I don't know if this is a bad idea or not. Give him a snake. Get it up, yeah. Have a snake. What? As if they're not hungry for a snake. Ungrateful. I'm gonna tie back on a purple one, just cause I have them out. After I eat a little bit. Doesn't really seem to matter what color we put on. The flatties seem to just like it. Just must look like the little bait fish they're up here after. Don't know how many purple and green bait fish there are in this system, but yeah, not complaining. There we go. There we go. Oh, dropped him. Right on the edge of the wee. What was that? It seemed like a flatty buffing in the shallows over there. That guy hit me right on the edge of the weed. Another pretty decent fish. There we go. Come back. How's that? Oh, he's not bad. Oh, he's going skits. Sheesh, mate, you little marlin. Doing the head shake out of the water and everything. See if we can get some big marlin action going. Oh, he's not even that bad at all. Don't. Oh, so close. Could you just get out? 
All right, there we go. That was very nerve wracking, but there's another, probably 45, 46 centimeter flatty. And he wants me to keep him. Cause he just landed straight in the net. There you go, mate. Off he goes. Come back for round two, even that guy. Yeah, he's mangled up our bit of snake and frayed our leader. But I just knew there had to be one along here. Looked too promising. Just so surprised how effectively this is working right now. Like, this is number what, fish four or five? And had so many other bites. Dude, the amount of ducks that are over there. I don't know why they love this corner. There's always so many. This has probably got to be the stickiest video I've ever filmed. Every time I have to handle this bloody snake. No, you can't say that, Josh. Yeah, every time I handle the lolly and then like put it back on my reel or something, it's just super sticky. But um, send it back on its way out there to get another fish. At this rate, there's the jetty there. We've moved approximately 80 meters and we're just getting them. Well, here we go. This will be interesting. Come on. I've been training your whole life for this moment. Oh, it's actually mad slippery as well. I did it. I know you all wanted me to fall in, but not today. Oh, there was a flatty there. I had a feeling this looked like a pretty promising little area where that drain runs out. Look at all that dust. Spooked decent flatty. Oh, you can't really see it that well. Yeah. Look at all that dust. Should have gone that little bit slower. But what I reckon we might try is we've caught a couple of fish on the snakes. We know they work. I'm going to dig through my little pocket here. And we'll try one of the ballastics. See if that works. Oh, it might not be very good to go on a hook, to be honest with you. Tell you what, though, these do taste very good as well. Here, yeah, I'll flick this little sewage area. I reckon there'll be one along there. These look good as well. Right, this one actually looks really good. Like a little flick bait kind of thing. Beautiful drop off. Oh yeah, it's big old Goosey Lucy. I don't know if you can remember, you're a bit of a OG to the channel. Goosey Lucy just lives around here. He or she is back again. Looking good, girl. I think I just got a hit. Oh, oh, just watched him have a hit at it and the, I was going to say lure, but the lolly came up to the surface and he grabbed it off the top. He wanted it. Oh, popped out. I hope the ballast stick works. And of course you put freight in my line. Why does every flatty do that? Oh, look at that. We spotted her. Pretty sure it's a female. There you go, loose. 
after you now. Yeah, oh, beautiful duck. Really beautiful. Definitely um uh someone's owned that and it's got out and just gone wild. There we go, as soon as it landed, right in that tiny gap. Nice little flatty. Oh, watch the sticks, dude. How's that? Just cast it in this tiny little section in between the weed on the shore. Oh, we've got a flatty. There we go, nice little flatty. Man, these just fish, like the colors on them are just built for camouflage. Blends in perfectly with any surface. Well, since it took us forever to um, tick a fish off on that ballast stick, worked all that air and it just, just didn't seem to work as well as the snake did. I don't know if it's because the fish weren't in the area or they just liked the snake better, but I reckon to finish off the challenge and go three from three, I'm gonna try and catch a fish on the Sour Patch Kids. A little packet. I'm gonna rip into it. I actually forget how big these things are. Yep, they're pretty small. There we go. Don't know how well that camera will focus that. Really little things, so I might have to might have to add two onto there. We we'll try with one. Here comes the ducks again. That looks nothing like anything. Uh, I don't think this is gonna work, but we're gonna give it a go. Really, I'm really pushing my luck here, but it's a challenge nonetheless. Ready to see some serious action. Yep, this thing has zero action. <laughs> Just a sour patch kid on a jig head. I like you feel kind of bad just because like Looks like I've just murdered the poor dude. Oh, let's see if we can get a fish on it. Actually caught that guy, the tiniest gap. Oh, another one. You're kidding. No chance. No chance. First cast. First cast on the Sour Patch Kid. <laughs> Me a little flatty, and he wanted it as well. It's gone. It's way down the hatch. <laughs> Look at that. With the sour patch still attached to the jig head. You are kidding me, little guy. I can't believe I just got that first cast. Who would have thought that lollies, all shapes and sizes, would be performing this well on the flatties? I'm trying to get a water release. Where are you going? And there's our um, little sour patch kid. All mangled and malt. What am I saying? All mangled and melted. Just rigged back up another one. A little orange one. Mate, I don't even know why they'd eat that. Like, it doesn't look like anything. And in the water, it's just like... Oh, I don't know, it kind of looks like something scurrying on the bottom. Like a little yabby or something. Wouldn't say it looks like a fish. Three for three. I figured out with this thing, if I just do like little hops, it actually does look like a like a fish scurrying across the bottom. If I do big hops, it just twists and turns all over the place. Kind of like the snake did, but even worse. There's a hit and there's a fish. There we go. Oh yeah. 
Oh, it's actually not that bad. And the little hops on the South Patch Kid once again. The first one was not luck. They actually are willing to eat it. And that is a very nice fish. Oh yeah. Looks good, Flatso. He's going off now. She's not done. Come on, up the bank. Up the bank, up the bank. A full 180. It's not what I wanted. There we go. And he snipped me right at the end. That is why it pays to play the fish nice and light. I am only running an eight pound leader. That'll be in the 50s again. For sure. That little sour patch hanging out the side of his mouth. Right there. To the tail, it's a 52 and a half, pushing 53, flatty. Well, how bloody good is that? That is one way to finish off a challenge. Absolutely beautiful, 52 centimetre, dusky flathead. Once again, on the lollies. You don't mind a little old sour patch kid, eh? Yeah, she doesn't mind a sour patch kid at all. I did not expect the outcome of today's video to go as well as it actually has. Um, I did not think you could catch this many fish using lollies as lures, but apparently you can. And that right there tops off the day. So stoked on that. You're a gorgeous fish. Let's get you back. There she goes already. Had it in the net while I was getting the camera and everything ready, so. Back to the deep. How's our little sour patch here? How does this catch a 52 flatty? <laughs> oh me, oh my. Oh me, oh my, I swallow to fly and I'm gonna head off home. Doesn't rhyme, I'm gonna do it anyway. Just come down to have a look at the little creek before I head off. Cause um, I was gonna have a cheeky fish, but a cheeky little flick in, but I think I'm just going to head off home, so. I don't think there's really much that needs to be said for this outro. I mean, I'm just I'm just still a little bit shocked how well the lollies actually did perform. And the amount of fish that we did catch. So many flatties, I've actually lost count. I think there was probably seven or eight flatties in there. Could be wrong, but yeah, very, very impressed. Cheers, everyone. If you made it this far in the video, you might as well leave a like, you know, so just drop a like down below. Just click that. It's a little white thumbs up button click that till it goes blue leave a comment on what you thought about today's video share with a mate and uh subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see some more fishing content from me appreciate you all once again for watching and uh like always i'll catch you in the next one